I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of AndrewsFootball.com. And with the ninth pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills, wait a minute, didn't I? Yes, I just did this video. I'm revisiting my draft. And now, here's the thing. Um, I'm doing my final mock draft. Now, picks one through six are going to stay the same. But as I did my video yesterday, I now have Jacksonville taking TJ Hawkinson at number seven instead. So now I did another video, and I'm going to attach this video in the description where I did um, some mock trades I think are going to happen uh, in the first round. Even though my mock draft will not include trades, I did a video saying I, I think there's going to be some trades that happen. And one of the trades I think is going to happen is I think Detroit at eight and the Miami Dolphins are going to flip spots. I think Detroit will drop to 13. Miami will move up to eight. There'll be some middle round picks in there uh, that will that will allow everything to work out. But since Andrews football is not due mocks, I'm going to keep the same player, and that's Cody Ford. I still think he's going to be a Detroit Lions pick, whether it's at 8 or 13. But here's the big question. I did a video, and I had Rashawn Gary going to Buffalo at number 9. Now, Rashawn Gary's an awesome prospect. He was the number one player coming out of high school, went to Michigan, at times just looked awesome. The thing is, though, in college, he was asked to play what's called a five technique, uh, basically a three, four defensive end. And his job was basically to occupy blockers. His job wasn't to fly around, rush the passer. His job was to occupy blockers. As a matter of fact, they have a, a linebacker behind him named Devin Bush, who's going to be a, another first round pick, making all the plays because you have a guy like Rashawn Gary who's occupying blockers, stuff in the run. Now, a lot of people look at that and say a lack of production, but however, more and more people are looking at this saying, wow, this guy, it, 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 the potential is unlimited. He ran like a 4.6 at the combine at almost 290 pounds. Uh, the, the athleticism on this kid's off the charts. And I like a coach like Sean McDermott to use that incredible athleticism on his defensive line. However, that was my old video. That was my old take. Now, when I look at the Buffalo Bills, I'm looking at a team that really, really wants Josh Allen to be the savior. Uh, they haven't had a stud quarterback since Jim Kelly. Uh, they got this kid in Josh Allen who's got just all the potential in the world. I mean, the guy's running for 100 yards one game. He's leaping over uh, defensive players in another. Here's a guy who was... Uh, they were talking about a competition. Who's going to throw it furthest? Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen? By the way, Bills fans, Patrick Mahomes says he's ready. Where's Josh Allen? But, you know, the funny thing is who, the winner has to throw over 85 yards. I mean, that, that's the crazy thing, and both these quarterbacks can do that. So if you're the Bills, you, if you're a Bills fan, you're thinking, hey, man, this guy's in the same league as Patrick Mahomes. He, he's not. But the arm talent, or let me rephrase that. The arm strength is on par with uh, the 2018 NFL MVP. So I understand all the excitement because there hasn't been a good quarterback in Buffalo since Jim Kelly. All right? I, I, okay, I'm, I'm sorry that, that, that one year you had Doug Flutie. And that's it. So now you got this superstar quarterback who's coming in who's, who can do all these crazy plays. Let's get him some help. So, how are you going to help out Josh Allen? Well, with the nice selection in the 2019 NFL Draft, I see the Buffalo Bills now selecting Noah Fant, tight end out of Iowa. Now, if you watched my previous video, I got Jacksonville taking TJ Hawkinson at number seven. Let's say Jacksonville goes back to my original plan, thinking that they're going to go offensive line. And TJ Hawkinson's available. Which player do you pick then? I think the Bills still select Noah Fant. And here's the thing. I think that Hawkinson's the better player. But if you're a fantasy football geek or a stats freak, you're going to like Noah Fant better because Noah Fant's going to put up better statistics. But I take a lot of um, – when, when I look at players, I always take blocking into consideration. Hawkinson's always going to be the better blocker. There is no situation that you're going to see Fant become a better blocker than TJ Hawkinson. So – I don't think the Bills are really needing blocking as much as they need to help out Josh Allen. Who's going to be the emergency release valve? Who's going to be able to split the seam and take a, a 5, 10-yard catch and go 30, 40, 50 yards? Here's another thing. You're the Bills. You played against uh, New England twice, all right? Who went to the AFC Championship game? You got the Kansas City Chiefs and New England Patriots. 
Oh, yeah, they had the two best tight ends in football. Imagine that. It's, it's not coincidence. So I, I really think that the Bills, what they're looking at, is they're saying, and that's another thing, is Patrick Mahomes has Travis Kelsey. Where's your Travis Kelsey? Right now you don't have one. Yes, I know they picked up the Bengals' backup tight end. They gave him $21 million for three years. Uh, Tyler Croft, good player. Nowhere near Noah Fant. Not even close. And you only have two tight ends on the roster. You're going to draft the tight end. You have the ability to take the best available. Now, the best available one for you is Noah Fant. However, the best available tight end for another team would be TJ Hawkinson. I like Hawkinson more than I like Fant. But for the Buffalo Bills, I like Fant a lot more. You need somebody with the speed and athleticism to help out Josh Allen in that rocket arm. Now, I also consider DK Metcalf for a little bit. However... But DK Metcalf, hey, he's got to learn how to run a route tree. They already got big receivers. I mean, no, no one his size, but they got big receivers. They got other receivers that they're kind of working with. I, I don't think DK Metcalf works as good as Noah Fant because I think Josh Allen needs somebody he can rely on on third downs more than he needs somebody who's a boomer bust prospect like you have with DK. Nothing against DK Metcalf, but you, you know you see the size and you see the speed. But uh, the very first clip I watched of him, he dropped a wide open pass, and that kind of worries me. Okay, I'm just saying. I love the athleticism. I hope he's the next Julio Jones or Calvin Johnson. But as of right now, it's a boomer bust. Noah Fant, he's he's got a much much higher floor than, than DK Metcalf. And I think that's really what the Bills need because they're trying to make sure that they're going to do everything they can to make sure that Josh Allen has a successful season. So listen, if you're already a subscriber to Andrews Football, you already know you're one of the greatest people on planet Earth. But if you're new to my channel, uh, you're, you're a fan of NFL mock drafts, you're a fan of the NFL draft, you like Iowa tight ends, the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen, or extremely awesome hats. There's this button right down here. Look, check, check, check it out. Check it. Bam! Hit that button. Become one of the greatest people on planet Earth. Wait till tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm doing the donkeys. That's right. Denver Broncos draft number 10. I'm doing that tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow.